Every winter, millions of Americans struggle with seasonal affective disorder, also known as SAD. But this year, in the midst of a global pandemic, mental health advocates worry seasonal depression could take a harsher toll. Naomi Rushem has more. Gabrielle Starr was diagnosed with seasonal affective disorder in her late teens. When I didn't have to go to class in, in college, I was just like in my bed. I wasn't working out, like I would eat at really weird hours. Um, I wasn't sleeping well. Her symptoms of depression escalate as the season starts to change. The first like month, literally, of daylight savings time being over, my body is totally out of whack. Doctors are concerned with the pandemic already impacting mental health. Seasonal affective disorder could mean an even darker winter than usual for many. Dr. Craig Sachuk is a clinical psychologist at Mayo Clinic. It makes it easier to forge through difficult times when you have a reliable light at the end of the tunnel. Unfortunately, uh, with the pandemic, that light keeps getting pushed further back. Add unemployment or a sick family member to the mix, and that could make even more people vulnerable to seasonal depression. You may have folks operating at a little bit more of a deficit, you know, heading into this time of year because of social distancing and, and really doing the right things from a public health standpoint, but they may already be in more of an isolation uh, kind of mode. Experts say staying active can help, maintaining a healthy diet, treating with therapy and medication, and finding a good source of light, getting outside or investing in a special lamp. Gabrielle takes vitamin D, meditates, and practices yoga. It makes a huge difference in my day. It's sometimes really hard to force myself to do it, but I always feel better. She also uses an alarm clock that mimics the rising sun. Naomi Ruckham, CBS News, New York. To get through the season, experts recommend sticking to a routine as much as possible and connecting with loved ones through video chat until the pandemic is over. A new national poll reveals parents' greatest concerns about their children during the pandemic, topping the list overuse of social media and screen time, unhealthy eating, and their emotional and physical health. Half of parents describe COVID itself as a big problem impacting kids. Experts recommend setting limits on children's screen time, trying to maintain routines, and making sure kids get plenty of sleep. The majority of Americans would support a mask mandate. That's according to a new Harris poll of more than 2,000 adults taken in mid-December. It shows 75% of the public approves of a mask mandate, as well as required testing for people with symptoms. Two-thirds think President-elect Biden should ban gatherings of more than 10 people. The poll showed that fewer than 60% believe non-essential businesses like restaurants and gyms should temporarily close.